So I said I was going to talk about things that Lagos Matchmaker members do go through, just so that if it's something you're going through, in this particular case, it's something you might be doing and not notice, and this might be helpful. So today I'm going to talk about instant judgment. So instant judgment, I have seen it happen a million times. Obviously, this happens, you know, when you're dating. Of course, everyone does this. I've done it too. And you might not notice, it might even be under the guise of deal breakers. And it's actually not a deal breaker. It's very different. I'll try and explain um, how they differ. So I'm going to give you, first of all, I'm going to give you examples of the instant judgment situations I've seen on Lagos Matchmaker. There are lots of cases where I've seen this instant judgment play out in Lagos Matchmaker. And top of my head, there are like four or five I can remember, like distinctively, and it's happened to a couple of people. The most popular one is in the initial conversation starters. We've talked about this before. It's the most popular instant judgment case that happens. So you find a lot of situations where the lady is like, oh, um, when the guy contacted me, he sent a message saying, hey, how are you doing? Now, who does that? You know, you don't know me. You should say good morning. It's too informal to just say, hey. I felt it, I felt it was weird because for me, it's not a big deal. But then everyone obviously has their own. Everyone is different. And guys have said that too, you know, like she said this and that, you know, who does that? It's too informal or it's too formal. Even within, you know, Lagos Matchmaker ourselves, we find people saying we're too formal or we're too informal too. So that's the most popular one, the initial conversation. And the second most popular one is picture exchange, of course. Um, so there was a lady in her, the pictures when it was being exchanged, she saw the guy was in the beach, at the beach. And the background was, she just felt it wasn't good enough. It wasn't a beach house or anything so she felt like no i don't want this and i was curious as to why and when she mentioned it was the background of the beach that the beach doesn't look like it's a quote-unquote posh beach and um yeah so that was like an instant judgment situation because you don't know what name you don't know the name of the beach or what he was doing there or i don't know like it's just the beach bag like you don't know anything about the pictures so i felt like it was an instant judgment case too another instant judgment case that we've had is there was a situation where um, when numbers were exchanged the lady was not into it because she said his whatsapp number was a whatsapp business account um, number so that wasn't what she was like she's just not going to you know be able to keep up with the match or just talk to the match because she felt like his whatsapp number being a business account was a no-no for her i didn't really pry into why you know but that was just a reason like it's a whatsapp business number it's not a personal number i don't want to deal with that and that was an instant judgment case too as well because well i didn't see the basis for that um, but i'm sure obviously she had her reasons another regular one that we've had it happens a lot more often too but i think i wanted to just talk about it last is in how people send messages because obviously that's your going to send messages it's a very important part so a guy one time sent a message to a girl that was a match and he was like hey how are you doing and then she was like i'm fine but she spelled fine she wrote a m m and fine was f y n so he was like no he's not doing it he can't deal with that and that was an instant judgment thing too because he was like i just won't be able to match anybody that writes like this you know and yeah so the reason i wanted to talk about this was because i wanted to explain why it's different from a deal breaker the difference between all these instant judgment situations and a deal breaker because you're likely to say oh you know what having a whatsapp number is a deal breaker for me but it's not you have to list what the exact deal breaker is let me just give an example i feel like it's hard to explain what i mean so in the case where the guy says um, the lady wrote i'm fine with f y n his deal breaker is not in her bad texting you know his deal breaker is because he feels like she might not because he had to you know explain it and he's like she might not be articulate enough he doesn't feel like that's something a smart person would do so his deal breaker was that someone wasn't smart or articulate 
so it wasn't that she was typing so it wasn't the typing it was the expectation of what you think that typing means you know so that's the deal breaker so it makes sense to give the person a chance and find out if that's actually true so um like with the lady and the guy's picture in the background the beach she that was instant judgment too because maybe her deal breaker is for someone that maybe she felt like since quote unquote the beach wasn't like you know so she wanted someone that maybe she felt like it wasn't financially strong from the you know guessing from the picture so if you felt that that would be the deal breaker someone that wasn't financially strong not someone standing in a beach that you felt wasn't good enough you know so that would be the actual deal breaker so it would make sense for her to like talk to a person and then find out really is this the situation or did i misjudge in the case with the initial conversation starter that i can't even talk about enough because everyone is so different when we wrote about it, everyone was like, I'd rather you say hello, hi. Some people are like, I'd rather you call first. Some people are like, I'd rather you text first. Some people are like, I'd rather you, you know, send. Me. It's just everyone just has a different way of how they would rather be contacted for the first time. So I don't know. I feel like instant judgment shouldn't even come to play when it comes to that because you could really miss out on a very good person based on that. I'm really curious about the WhatsApp business number. And then I asked him why he was using that. He said he had that number from a staff that worked for him a long time ago and was fired. Or well, he uses that number for things like this because there are lots of quote unquote crazies online. So he didn't want to give his number to someone that it would be hard to get rid of. So he didn't want to use his personal number for matchmaking and things like this, like anything online. That's why he was using the business line. So she didn't get to find that out at all because she had the instant judgment and she didn't give it a chance. So that's another thing instant judgment does. It doesn't let you give that person a chance to find out more about the person. And personally, I've also, you know, had that instant judgment thing. So there was a guy I met and I felt like he had too much. He was doing something too much. I felt like, why do you have so much time for this? But I wouldn't just let that instant judgment stop me from going further and knowing you. So I did go, you know, to talk to him on much longer and met up with him and I found out that it wasn't him doing it, you know, so what I was thinking was like, oh no, I'm not for this. It wasn't even true. So sometimes your reasons for your instant judgment might not even be true. You know, it might be false. It might not be what you think, you know, so that's why you should always give people a chance. And instant judgment is very different from deal breakers. So with this guy, my deal breaker was someone that has too much time on his hands. So meaning that he's not doing anything, quote unquote, tangible. And that was the deal breaker. And then I was already about to instant judge on the fact that the person had so much time doing something. So you have to realize and be able to differentiate your deal breaker from your instant judgment situation. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but seriously, you need to be able to differentiate a deal breaker from an instant judgment situation so you don't miss out on meeting great people